Hello guys and welcome back to Kids Coding Playground. So today we're doing the uh, Among Us platformer uh, part three. Uh, so before I start, please uh, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I uh, really uh, appreciate it. That will really help us a lot. Uh, so don't forget to uh, give us a thumbs up on the video and uh, share with your friend. Let them know about our channel. Uh, that would be great. Okay. All right, so we are going to start uh, working on the animated character today. But uh, before we go through that, let's just check the code. Make sure that you guys have all the code that you needed. So this is the code for the uh, main character, which is the black box that we're moving around. So you guys can see. Let me kind of zoom in one more time. So this is the uh, start, and this is all the custom uh, function that we define. Okay. And then this is the starting of the um, start game, uh, which is called by start, and then it calls other other function here. Okay, so we're gonna move over to this side. So let me go over here and let me zoom out once. So this is the jump control, the move hitbox, and checking the the sprite hitting the ground. Okay, so this is all for the main character, and then the uh, this is for the animated character. Okay, so uh, last what we left off was uh, we we're able to jump um, and walk and jump. So we're gonna animate this uh, character, the uh, animated character now. Okay, all right. So in the animated character, uh, what we can do is we can check uh, what the looks here. Set this up for fifty percent just in case, but uh, if not, it's already there here. Okay, and then uh, what we want to um, um, what we want to do is if the uh, actually if the users uh, if the player is not moving, we want to put in the idle stage. If it's moving, then we're gonna make him run running animation. So what we need to do is put another if control here, if statement. Okay, same um, operator user n, and what you need is a not. Okay, and then there's something called key press. Uh, not any key press and and then we have this variable last time on the ground that we define to test the place on the ground or not. So we'll use this. And for we're using one, one is on the ground, zero is not on the ground. So we're gonna say if there's no key press and the place is on the ground. Then we are going to change it to the idle custom. Okay, so the idle custom we put it at the last. It really doesn't really matter in the beginning or last, but I think on my sprite has in the last. Okay, this little guy, idle. Okay, so this is for this part. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's move over here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make the uh, animated character runs around and switching costume. So we're going to drag another green flag is clicked. Uh, let me zoom in yeah, from here. And then we're going to use this forever loop here. Um, and then we, can, we are going to use the if statement here. And then we do the sensing block. But the right arrow is pressed. Uh, what we want to do is we're going to point in 90 direction pointing to the right. So this guy is facing to the right on this side. And then we are going to use a uh, condition here. And we're going to use the operator. And we'll go back to the look. Getting the custom custom name, select name equal to idle so basically we're saying um, because the uh, loop goes through right it run all these different kind of uh, costume right if it gets to the idle we don't want to display that while it's moving we'll move it back to walk one okay so what we're going to do is if it equals to idle if the custom is equal to idle i'm gonna switch it back to walk one else we'll say next costume okay and after that, we want to put a little bit of weight. Oops, sorry. 
put that under here and now we're gonna wait 0 0.02 so that's how I, I, I tried a different combination I think uh, 002 looks good actually look pretty smooth if you want it to move slower you can move it up I'll make it like 005 or something like that okay so for me I put it 002 it looks a little bit more smooth so we'll duplicate this so this time we are going to make the left arrow and we are going to make it as negative 90 pointing to the left same thing for this part okay and we are going to put it under here okay so we have right arrow up arrow and then what we want to do is when the player jumps up we also want to do a, something so we want to have a different costume so put that here Okay, this up arrow and we just pick a random one I guess doesn't matter which one we'll pick the uh, I think the first one first one is okay so when it jumps up we're gonna use this costume otherwise you know, we can't run through the thing okay all right so what we want to do is also we want to have play some sound so I think when if you guys took my sprite, it'll have already have some sound. Oh, I don't have it on this one. Okay, because I created brand new. So, um, but I think I have it in the main character. Let's see, I have it. Oh, I also don't have it. Oh, because I created this brand new. <laughs> so I don't have it. So uh, I'll upload some sound. Uh, basically, uh, you can use like a jump sound and a walk sound. I have some of those already. Uh, let me just... Um, upload that okay so let's go back to our animated character um, having a backpack I'm gonna put walk and then uh, jump so we're gonna use this two sound uh, you can use a jump sound from a sprite I mean uh, from a scratch also but I don't like that jump sound this is another one it's like this like a like that that sounds okay so I think that sounds let me make it a little bit louder you guys can hear it so let's check like that and then the walk is like okay all right so that's what the two sound we're going to use okay let's go back so let me minimize this again so this is so far what we have for the uh, 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 walking and jumping okay and what we want to do is we want to make some sound while he's walking okay all right so we'll put this um, here and also we want to calculate how many depth the player had we can make a variable depth make it for all sprites so I just put it like right here and then level on this side or the other one I don't need let's just take these guys out and then the main character I think we're good with those jumping and the deviation we we're testing last time so I think I took that out okay let's go back here okay so back into the animated sprite um, in the beginning we'll set the depth to zero and uh, if you if you think your sound is too loud uh, you can set it like a uh, sound like uh, sound here you can set it like 50 percent or something like that volume let's just keep it 100 right now see how it goes if it's too loud we can set it at 50. i think in my original game i had it 50 but let's just see okay so can put the uh, forever okay and what we want to do is we're going to use the uh, if condition here Oops, sorry got the wrong one so if condition um, and then we are going to use the operator or here and we are going to take this duplicate that take this duplicate that so we're saying if it's left or right uh, arrows press and then we don't want to play the sound all the time because we'll, we'll be too annoying so what we're going to do is we're going to add another if statement inside here okay or you can put an end condition here as well it's okay but i think it's too long it looks kind of it's hard to see i mean for scratch but in other programming you can just add them up so you can do all and then the end 
but uh, I think I uh, don't want to confuse you guys. We'll put it inside here. And what you can do is you're going to use another operator. And you can check the custom. So, what's that? Custom number. Okay. So, we just put six. So, we have 12 custom, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 12, right? So, what I'm saying is when it get to number six custom, we're going to play the sound. Or seven, doesn't matter. So, just put one something like that. Uh, and then we say play the walking sound until done. And then we are going to get another operator here. And then we'll take this and we want to say up. And then we're going to play the jump sound until done. Okay, so we have the sound already in this game. And we have the movement of the, uh, of the sprite. Okay, let's just see how it looks. Okay, all right. So you can hear the step jump okay seems to be okay right okay all right so we have our little man that is walking and jumping and if it's not walking and jumping then we'll go into the idle stage as you can see we'll stay back in this idle stage right so I think it's working fine perfectly fine all right okay okay so what we can do is uh, we are going to set up some of the bounce pad we can work on uh, let's see okay let's go on and work on the jump pad uh, I have it in my backpack I'll provide a sprite for you guys I'll upload later in the Google Drive so um, this is the trampoline that we had so um, they have all the custom here a custom okay just kind of animate it you, if you don't want this you can just draw your own like a little pad and then we'll add a stick okay but uh this one we have a custom uh animate so it looks like a little bouncy pad okay all right so we have this so before we do that we actually have to go back to the main character here uh what we're going to do is we're gonna the broadcast another message here uh to the uh, to set up the uh, you know set up the uh, the, um, the the stage with the jump pad and stuff like that. Okay, here we'll create one more broadcast. Say new message. Say uh, start new level. Okay, and then uh, when I receive uh, start new level. Uh, what we want to do is we're going to broadcast two more messages actually but um, this time we are going to have the broadcast and wait so that we can um, we can uh, send the uh, send the notification to all the sprite so that it could set up before it, it actually uh, do something okay so we're gonna make a new message reset and wait okay and then duplicate this, we'll make a new message called setup. Okay, so this one new calls this too. Okay, so we are going to set this up for the uh, trampoline here. Okay, in the trampoline, we're going to start with this and we are going to hide it. Okay. And then we remember we broadcast our reset. So let's get this saying as reset. So we're gonna use clone for this instead of high and show. That way it will give us more control and you can have multiple jump pad on the same level. Um, if you use high and show, you can only have one. So here we can say uh, when it reset, we make sure that we delete the clone because we're using clone. So you have to make sure you delete it. It's okay and okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a new block okay okay and say place clone okay 
I'm gonna place a clone at this position. Uh, put X and then add one more, say Y. And remember to select this run without refresh, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna define this code here. And also we need to create two variable. Okay, here, make sure you create, oh, okay, I already have X and Y. I think I copied from the old thing, it had X and Y. But if not, when you create this X and Y variable, make sure you create it for like this sprite only, okay? This sprite only. So you create X and Y variable, okay? Uh, since I copy from the my old code, I already have the X and Y variable. Okay, I don't have to create it, but if you have to, make sure you create it for X and Y for this variable, for this sprite only. Okay, we're gonna set. Okay, set the X to the X. Let's go faster, I think we're yeah, almost time. Uh, y. And then what we want to do is we're gonna switch to costume number one. Okay, the trampoline number one. And then we'll say show. And then we're gonna call the create clone of myself. Okay. Okay, you remember we have two uh, setup here. We have one for a reset and one for setup. Okay, so we have to call this setup as well. So let's duplicate this, select setup, delete that. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the, uh, just to reset the variable for now, set the reset the X and Y to zero. And then what we can do is uh, you can um, have an if condition here. And then we're going to check the level. Okay, check the level. Go to one. So level one, let's say we are going to clone, place the clone at this position. Let's say uh, somewhere around here or whatever, it doesn't matter, right? So let's just put 10. I don't know, I think this is my, some of my old coordinates I have. 10 and then negative um, 28 or something, I don't remember. Let me, yeah, it's negative 28. That's, I think that's why I had earlier, but uh, you can see, you can just show this and then you can like place it anywhere you want. So we want to actually place it here. Let's just go to the first custom first. So let's say we want to place it here. Yeah, let's just do this and have this. So you see that position, right? So go over here. Uh, you see the position, make sure your game is stopped. So let's say we want to jump pad here. So you're 34, right? So just put 34. And then say negative 97, something like that. So in the first stage, we'll have the jump pad here. Okay. So let's go. So now we have to create this code now. When I start as a clone. So now is the real code here. Okay. So what we want to do is we're going to move this to this position. And we are going to use the variable X and Y here. Okay. So which is coming from here. So 3497. And what we're going to do is we're going to put forever loop in here. And we are going to check if it touched the uh, main character. So everything is controlled by the main character. Okay, so that's why we want to check if it touched that. And then what we can do is broadcast new message, bounce. So this will bounce the other guy and then we have a repeat loop we'll do eight times and we are going to send the next costume okay and then after that we'll switch it back to uh, custom number one okay so just in case you know it, it goes out of sync you know we still want to change it back to one so basically, you know, after it bounce, we'll change it back to one. So I did A because we have A custom here. Okay. Okay. All right. So that is done. So now I want to go back to the uh, main character here. Okay. In the main character, uh, since we have bounce, right? So we need to that event. We we'll to listen for that event. When I receive bounce. Uh, use the set 
variable. We're gonna set the velocity to 25. So it gives him a higher bounce. Okay, let's save it and let's put some blocks into the background. Let's test it out. So let's see. We'll put this box here. Okay, copy. Let's just put it over here. Oh, can I put them on top of that guy? Okay, something like this. Okay, just for testing. Okay, save it. Let's run it real quick. Okay, so our guy is still walking fine with the footstep sound and the jump sound. So you see that? So we can jump up. Jump up. Okay. See? Okay, alright. So we're good with that. So, so far so good. So now... So next thing we will work on like changing the level and stuff like that. So for right now, these guys are working fine. He's able to jump. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, we'll stop right here. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And please give us a thumbs up on the video uh, if you enjoy it. Okay. All right. Bye bye.